Hey, it's Amanda from TheIntuitiveWife.com. If you are just getting started on your spiritual journey and you're trying to connect to your spirit guides but not quite sure how to do it or where to start, then this video is for you. Hey, I'm Amanda, The Intuitive Wife. If you are a regular, welcome back. And if you're new and we're just crossing paths for the first time, welcome to my channel. Either way, I'm happy to have you here. I tend to get asked questions, lots of questions, from people who are just getting started, but I think it's safe to say how do I connect to my spirit guides is probably one of my top five frequently asked questions. So I figured I would just turn it into a video. So if you're ready to find out how to connect to your spirit guides, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get into it. So there are two things you need to know right off the bat. Number one, it is very, 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 very easy to speak to your spirit guides. And number two is you cannot do it wrong. One of the common questions from people who are just getting started is I want to connect to my spirit guides, but I don't know how to do it. What if I do it wrong? You literally can't do it wrong. Okay, now that those two things are out of the way, there are two things that you need to do to actually connect to your spirit guides. Number one, take a deep breath. And number two, start talking. Literally just start talking. Whether it's in your head or out loud, it doesn't matter. I recommend starting something along the lines of, hey spirit guides, blah 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 blah. Just so that there's no confusion and they know 100% for a fact that you're speaking to them directly. Now if you are just getting started, I promise you, you will feel like a weirdo. Okay, <laughs> let's be real, you are sitting here either talking out loud to someone that you can't see or feeling a little crazy because you're having a conversation with no one in your head. Either way, it feels a little weird, okay? So you will get over that, I promise. It's just going to be a normal thing. It's going to feel as normal as breathing once you start talking to your spirit guides on a regular basis. And keep in mind that your spirit guides are here to guide you every single day. So they're never too far away. So this should never be a big ordeal if you want to speak to your spirit guides. You don't need to sit there and meditate for 15 minutes and bring out some crystals and some candles and do a little chant before you start talking to your spirit guides. It doesn't work that way. You can absolutely do that if that makes you feel better, but you don't have to. You really just need to start talking. Now, keep in mind, your spirit guides are not physical beings. They do not have voice boxes, so they cannot physically respond to you, which means they have to get creative when they are responding to you. So if you are just getting started, I strongly recommend to start by asking them a question, like ask them for a sign if this is a yes. So for example, I don't know, hey spirit guides, am I supposed to be doing this? Fill in the blank. If so, please show me a sign. Again, fill in the blank. I personally ask for my sign to be some type of animal. I don't know why, I just like to. I would recommend asking them to show you an animal that you don't regularly see. For example, if you see robins and crows in your backyard on a regular basis every single day, please don't ask them to show you a robin or a crow because then you are going to wonder if that is actually your spirit guides or is this just a typical robin that still visits you every single day. So, hey spirit guides, am I supposed to be doing X? If yes, please show me a, a blue jay, a jellyfish, a fox, a literally <laughs> pick whatever you want. And then keep in mind that because they can't talk to you and they need to be creative, you need to keep your eyes and ears open. By that, I mean you could be walking down the street, you could be walking into Starbucks, you could be getting to the car, and you overhear someone talking about a blue jay, if that was your symbol, for example. They, you may not physically see a blue jay fly in front of your face. You could hear someone talking about it, you could hear it come up on the radio, you could see it in a painting. Um, I asked for a blue jay once and I saw it on, you know, those porcelain plates that people hang on the wall or display on shelves. Like, you could see it literally anywhere, it just may not be in the same form that you would expect to see it. So keep your eyes and ears open. Another thing is, when you ask for a sign from your spirit guides, and you are going to do this, so please like, don't guilt yourself, you're, you're going to get into the hang of this, 
you will overthink it. For example, spirit guides, if I'm supposed to be doing this, please show me blue jay. And then, I don't know, two hours later, you see a blue jay. Oh, was that actually from my spirit guides? I did ask them for a blue jay. I don't know, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just coincidence. Okay, spirit guides, if I'm actually supposed to do this, it's like, send me another blue jay. And then you see a second one. Hmm. It is a coincidence that I saw two blue jays. But you know, I don't think, I don't think that one was for my spirit guides. You know what? I changed my mind. Don't send me a blue jay. Send me an owl. <sighs> you will do this. I promise you, <laughs> you will do this. It is very common, especially if you're just starting, to overthink everything. When you ask for a symbol and they send you the symbol, they send you the answer that you're looking for, trust it. I know it is very difficult to trust in something or someone that you can't see or even hear talking to you, but that is their purpose. Their purpose is to guide you. You ask them to help you with something and this is them helping you. Let them help you. Trust in them when they are sending you the signs that you are asking for. If you're feeling a little strange talking to someone that you can't see or hear respond to you, if this is just a little too weird for you, you could always try starting out with oracle cards or tarot cards. Personally, for me, when I am looking for like yes or no answers kind of thing or a little bit extra clarity on something, I just reach my oracle cards and ask my spirit guides my question and then I pull the card. If you're not sure how to do that or not quite sure how to get started, I do have a video on it that I will leave up above for you to watch at the end of this video. So it really is that simple. Take a deep breath, ask a question slash ask for a sign and trust the sign. Don't overcomplicate it, don't overthink it, just trust it as it comes. If you have any other questions about connecting to your spirit guides that I missed in this video, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Chances are you're not the only one who wants to know. I will either respond to your comment or make a video on it. I do have tons of other videos for anyone looking to connect to their spirit guides, angels, tarot, oracle, crystals, chakras, so don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in my next one.